Hi, welcome and congratulations on your acceptance to Penn State. Thanks for joining us here. My name is Katie and I'm gonna tell you more about new student orientation or NSO. It's what's next for you after you accept your offer of admission. New student orientation is meant to onboard you to the university. Our NSO process begins in March, but students must accept their offer of admission or pay your deposit first. If you've already accepted your offer and it's not yet March, please just wait until it's March and then check your email. If you're still deciding, know that we'll start to communicate in March and you'll hear from us about one business day after you accept your offer of admission. We'll send all of our communication to the email address that was used on your application to Penn State. My best advice is to check that email regularly. You'll get updates there from orientation, from student aid, from housing, admissions, and others. And my pro tip is if you used your high school email address on your application to Penn State, work with undergraduate admissions to update that to a non-high school email address so that you're sure to receive our communications after you graduate. Our team is working hard all year to be sure that we're ready to welcome you and provide you and your family with the most up-to-date information about starting your Penn State career. There are things that you must do before NSO, during NSO, and after NSO, and I'm gonna highlight some of that process for you now. Let's start with before NSO. Um, we've created an NSO task list, which is a comprehensive list of all of the action items you must complete before starting at Penn State. Think of this as a one-stop list for all of the items that you need to take care of. There are about 20 different items on the list, and I don't want to overwhelm you today, but I do want to provide you with a couple of examples, and then you'll see the whole list after you accept your offer. First, we have some action items that take you into our student information system. We call that Lion Path, and that ensures that you'll be ready to schedule your classes during NSO. We provide instructions on what immunization records you need to submit to the University Health Services. You should upload your immunization records before your new student orientation. To help you plan, all students must submit proof of measles, mumps, and rubella, or the MMR. Students who are living in university housing must supply proof of the meningococcal conjugate vaccine. And Penn State strongly encourages all students to receive the COVID-19 vaccine and booster. It is the single best step you can take to protect yourself and your community. You'll be able to upload those immunization records starting in March when you gain access to the task list. On this task list, you'll find information about the Alex math assessment. Alex is a math placement test. It's an online test and a dynamic one. It provides placement for math and science courses. We want you to be successful in your coursework and Alex helps to determine your readiness and potential for success. If you took calculus in high school, you do not need to complete the Alex math assessment, but you can if you would like. Again, instructions on all of this is available on the NSO task list. You'll also see information about a transfer credit worksheet, which we have prepared to allow you to track your AP and transfer credits that you may bring with you to Penn State. This will be very helpful during your advising meeting during new student orientation, and advisors will use it as a guide since your AP exam results most likely will not have been received by the university when you come to new student orientation. If you are a summer admit to University Park, this task list is where you'll indicate that you will participate in LEAP and select your LEAP Pride. LEAP is the Learning Edge Academic Program. It combines small cohort-based courses with out-of-classroom learning and peer mentoring to help you in your transition to Penn State. Many of our students choose to participate in LEAP, and if you're interested, you can learn more at leap.psu.edu. All students will also use this NSO task list to make a reservation for your preferred NSO program. Here's some information about how and when to make your reservation. Our reservations will open in April and you'll receive an email when we're taking reservations. NSO programs are available to you based on your campus, semester of entry, and your college of enrollment. You are in control of which NSO program you select, so please be sure that you select one for you and your family. It's a two-day overnight experience at our University Park campus. Programs are offered in the summer in, the, in May, June, and July. And NSO is a required activity for all students before your semester of admission begins. So if you are admitted to the summer session, you'll see programs in May and June. 
If you're starting in the fall semester, you'll see programs later in June and then in July. Now, when you come to campus for new student orientation, um, I'm gonna to talk to you more about that now. It's the only way that you will uh, meet with an advisor and schedule your courses. That's one of our ultimate goals. And we are committed to returning to an in-person orientation program for the class of 2026. That means that students, you will get to visit campus. You'll come for two days, stay overnight in one of our residence halls, meet other new students, and so much more. Uh, we will provide students with uh, linens for the overnight stay and three meals while they're here on campus during new student orientation. While you're here, we'll cover important topics and information to help you prepare to join the Penn State community. We'll talk about expectations of being a Penn State student. We'll talk about the importance of responsible decisions and personal responsibility in those. We'll introduce you to resources that are available to help you and support you during your Penn State career. You'll meet with an academic advisor to help you establish and meet your ed educational goals. And of course, you'll schedule courses for your first semester. While you're, he while you're here, you'll meet other new Penn Staters, including new students and upper class students who are here to help you during your transition. Each student has an orientation leader and meets with other new students while they're here on campus. We do recognize that parents and families play a critical role in the student success at Penn State, and we provide NSO programming that's designed for families too. Parents and families, you are welcome to attend new student orientation. It's strongly encouraged, but not required. Parents and families, while you're here, will learn about how to support your student and how to stay connected to Penn State through your new student orientation. And you'll hear and meet our parent, the staff in our Penn State Parents Program. They are our biggest partner in new student orientation. And we have the same goal, a successful first year for students. Parents, if you're interested in learning more, you can visit parents.psu.edu to learn more about the Penn State Parents Program and other involvement opportunities. After new student orientation, there are still things that you'll need to do to continue to get ready for a successful start. Great news, these are also included on your NSO task list. You will find an online module that introduces the student code of conduct to you. Well, you, students will also find the Penn State Safe and Aware program. That's an online module about alcohol education and relationship and sexual violence awareness. Students will receive instructions on how to submit their student health insurance information to Penn State or to learn about how to purchase student health insurance if you're in need of it. And of course, we'll provide you about information about Welcome Week, which is what we are busy preparing for the start of each semester. After you attend new student orientation, Welcome Week continues our welcome to you at, this, at, at, at Penn State. Really, our goal at Welcome Week is to get you out of your rooms and connected into the community. Again, a few important takeaways. Check your email regularly. If you have a Penn State email, you will not have a Penn State email, excuse me, you will activate your Penn State email during new student orientation. So make sure that you have an email address on file with Penn State that you are able to check at even after you graduate from high school. You'll be able to make a reservation for your NSO program starting in April and more information is available on your NSO task list and at orientation.psu.edu. Thanks again and welcome to Penn State. We're looking forward to seeing you at new student orientation.